Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mod tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be creating dimensions that are based off of the default Minecraft ones. So you can either use the End, Nether or the Overworld. And we will also change the blocks, the liquids and things that generate inside those dimensions. So let's get started. First thing we want to do, go into World and create a new package called dimension and then inside of the dimension package you want your the name of your dimension I'm gonna call mine the library the great library dimension and in here we're gonna create the dimension class dimension and then followed by dimension name so here is going to extend world provider we're going to want the constructor and a few functions. Get dimension type. Create chunk generator. Can respawn here. And is surface world. These are the four functions that you'll want all the time. And there are alternative functions you look at inside the world provider to check for. Firstly, obviously, we need to go into init and create a new class called dimension init. And inside of here, we are going to declare a dimension type, public static final dimension type. Then the name of your dimension equals dimension type. dot register then there's a few things here string name is what the localized name will be so make sure it has a capital library then the suffix you want underscore and the name of your dimension in lowercase for ID um, you can either just give it an ID like I'm gonna do here or you can put it in reference. So I gave it the idea of two. You'll need to remember that for next episode. Then the provider is the class dimension library great library dot class. And keep loaded is a boolean true or false false. If you keep it loaded, it will slow down your game quite a bit. You then want one static function, public static void register dimensions, as you have to register it to two classes, dimension manager dot register dimension, the ID again, so you could just use your reference here, but I'm not going to for the sake of time, and then the dimension type which is library. Then inside of util handlers registry handler, Inside of pre init registries, below by a minute, put dimension in it dot register dimensions. Then the next step, you're going to want to create a new biome for your dimension. So public static final biome library dimension equals new biome library um, init biome the library dimension with the name library a biome type it's a library so it'll probably be warm and then the type is going to be spooky dense and dry then create this class in dot world dot biomes we just super I'm going to use the same biome properties as my previous copper one. Obviously, you can create some more biome properties. Make sure you give it the correct name. And these values don't actually matter, as the chunk generation will be something completely different, except from the temperature, rain, and stuff like that, which you can obviously modify. And we will come back to this biome class later, but we just need to create it for now. Then back in our side of our dimension, get dimension type can return um, dimension in it dot library 
and inside the constructor put this dot biome provider equals new biome provider single um, biome init dot library dimension. This will be for any end and nether style dimensions. For the overworld, you don't actually have to put this biome provider. It has to be lots of different biomes in there. You do that in the trunk generator function. For can respawn here, return false. Because you can't, if you think about it, you can't respawn in the end or the nether. You can only respawn in the overworld. And is surface world return false as well? Create junk chunk generator. Put return new chunk generator library. And we will come back to the parameters later. Now you have to decide if you want to do a nether dimension or an end dimension or an overworld dimension. I have templates that I will leave on my GitHub for the nether and end dimensions that you can fill in for yourself. But for the overworld, you're going to have to try and figure that one out for yourself. It's very complicated. I will come back in the future and make a completely custom style dimension. But that's quite complicated for now and it'll take a while. So for now, I'm just going to copy in my nether style dimension. So the things you need to change will be this main black block liquid other block other block you can change these blocks around to make your dimension look completely different and these can be your custom blocks or normal minecraft blocks so i'll have my copper block for all those different blocks and you need to keep air and bedrock the same i will go into structures in a different video and also these um, world gen things as well but for now i'm gonna not have any except from the gen nether caves these are what creates like holes in the nether and makes it look quite cool you can get rid of these but it'll just make the nether look quite boring or you make your dimension look quite boring and you can also create your own map gen caves if you look at this and try and understand it but obviously it's a lot of complicated maths there's all these noise gens and things these are all just for generating but that's literally all you have to do is just change those blocks from my template so come back to your dimension class and you are going to, I need to rename this to Chunk Generator Library. Then hover over and add the arguments. It wants world, boolean generate structures, true, and the seed get world dot get seed and that is your dimension done well it's partially done so if we run the game now and create a new world and we now use the dimension command we created in the last episode slash tp dim 2 and we will land in the custom dimension so here it is it's got water instead of lava, but it's my red water because the biome colours water. It's got bookshelves as the normal block. It also has um, copper blocks replacing soul sand. And there was, as you can see here, there's brewing stands that replaced um, gravel, I think, or maybe soul sand, I'm not sure. One of the two. And as you can see... We have replaced all the blocks. We have our own custom dimension. So in the next episode, I will show you how to generate custom structures inside of here. As well as your own ores. And also entities. So if you're looking forward to that video, subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching guys. My name's been Harry. And goodbye.